three days later, and Liz is preparing for the holidays. Here I am, all ready for Christmas. Ta-da! <laughs> right. Roseanne has come round to leave her spaniels with Liz and James while she visits relatives. Hello, you. So off to the family. Very attached. She's such an intelligent little creature. Mm, yes. One. He's just so, a wuss. He's not a wuss. He is a wuss. He's no, a he is. Wuss. <laughs> he's a sweetheart. We Don't love them both. Well, I know he's a sweetheart, but he's a wuss. So how did you find Sunday? Well, obviously there was a lot that I already knew. Mm, of course. Um, but one can always learn mm. from these sessions. Now, I have to watch my tongue because I can be very outspoken. Um, and it goes against the grain to be careful what I'm saying. Um, the fundamental thing is, in our environment, it is important because anybody involved with UKIP is going to be focused on, and if they say or do the wrong thing, it's going to be blown up out of yeah. all proportion. Yeah. And mm. therefore, you just have to, as I said on Sunday, don't come up with emotive comments mm. because it will be... Re re reacted to in a way that you weren't necessarily expecting. So it's just a question of, of, of thinking first. Yes, and in thinking about it, I will say something. There is absolutely no way I'm, I'm a racist because I actually, when Nigel said about coming into the ward and taking a photograph in actually in each ward, my first thought was, oh, the guy that owns the post office, him and his wife, I know they vote UKIP, they'd be absolutely delighted. Um, they always talk to me, they're very supportive, etc., etc. Now, obviously, they're, I don't know whether they're Indian, Pakistan, it doesn't matter to me, but they're a lovely couple. But the only people I do have problems with are Negroes. And I don't know why. I don't know whether there's something in my psyche or whether... From a, it's karma from a previous life, or whether something happened to me as a very, very young person and I've drawn a veil over it, because that sometimes happens, doesn't it? But I, have, I, I, I really do have a problem with, with people with Negroid features. I really do. A friend of mine said, what would you do if I invited you to dinner and you, I put you next to, to her? I said, I wouldn't be there. Simple as that, I said, I wouldn't be there. It's ridiculous. Isn't it? No. It's got nothing to do with people. It's, it's all to do with their personalities and characters. It's got I know. nothing to do with I know. facial features. I know. But I really do have a problem, and I don't know why. I wish I did. I'd like to go to somebody and perhaps, perhaps might give me a regression, so yeah. perhaps I might be able to find out why. Useful. Yeah, I once had this conversation with a guy from the 16 Plus team when I was when they first started it up, and he said, is there any particular group of people that you wouldn't consider it would be relevant for? And I said, yes, Negroes. And he said, what do you mean by Negro? What a stupid thing to say. And I said, you know, black skin, black curly hair, wide nostrils, shiny skin, that's what I mean. And he said, why? And I said, because I'm going back to the early, late 80s. I said, because there are so few in this area that I feel that at that age, t late teens, they would be bullied, they would be picked on, etc. I said, and I don't think it would be good for them. Well, to do what? Sorry, I didn't... Oh, this was to support accommodation. Oh, right. oh, OK. I used to say to my daughter, by way of some sort of justification, you need to remember that I was born at the late 40s, early 50s, when, especially down in Thanet, there weren't any. You know, and I wasn't brought up with them. Now, that's no justification at all. It doesn't, it doesn't answer the question, why is she like that with them and not anybody else? Really bizarre. Hmm. Don't know. No. Got me dinner in the oven. <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love to stay and chat. <laughs> I really would, but... I don't want to spoil my meal. Right, we'll look after the dogs. Do oh. that there. No, you're not coming. Oh. No, you're staying with us. Come on. You be good boy. Smudge. Yes. Come here, darling. Yes. Right, yes. I'll keep them. See you tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Okay, honey. Yeah.
safe journey tomorrow.